We have a lot of people that ask us about our titanium anodizing lines. And since we've got one here that we're getting ready to ship out, I thought I'd give you a brief tour of exactly what IPET Globals and AnodizedTitanium.com's anodizing systems are all about. This is actually a much larger system than most of our customers really need. This particular customer needs a substantial amount of type two processing done in addition to color anodizing. So we set this line up as most of our normal lines are with a cleaner, an etch. This one has color anodizing tank and then we have two separate type two anodizing tanks before the final rinse. Final rinse, of course, is just for uh, maintaining clean parts to reduce spotting. You can kind of get an idea of the instrumentation of our systems. In fact, in this system, in addition to the anodizing line itself, we actually have a pH neutralization reactor built into the center module. That reactor will adjust pH to the running rinses as they come in and then they will pump it out to a drain. As you can see, all of the plumbing is labeled true union ball valves wherever possible. In this particular case, we went to the smaller pumps because the size of these tanks is small enough that we don't really need the larger tanks, excuse me, the larger pumps for these systems. I'm about to begin processing parts on this system so you can actually see the chemistries are in the process tanks. Just wanted to kind of give you an idea before I do that of what the system would look like uh, if you're considering purchasing a larger system. In this particular case, because of the amount of type two processing, we had to go to the larger power supplies and because of the larger power supplies, we went to an external rack instead of building them into the module, which is something that we normally do. Uh, on this system, you can see in the back, a lot of the controls are built in. Again, this is your neutralization reactor with a mixer. Those are the reagent pumps, pH meter, and you can see the various relays, fuses, fuse blocks terminal blocks that we use. I'm actually connected to a, a low pressure blower for the purposes of the test. And as you can see, we have water in, we have a pump out. So again, in a nutshell, this is not a typical system for titanium anodizing, but it's not that different, just a little larger than what we would normally do for most of our machine shop customers. And again, ipetglobal.com or anodizetitanium.com.